Hello, this is Joe and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to cover how to clean and improve the performance of the clutches on the EQ6R Pro. So let's get started. So here's your clutch for your right ascension axis and here's the clutch for the declination axis on an EQ6R Pro mount. What you don't want to do is over tighten these. And you might find that you have a feeling like you need to over tighten them to keep the are most likely the RA from moving. My declination is actually very stiff and it won't move because I don't have any grease in here. Now I rebuilt this mount a few months ago and in that time some of the grease and maybe I put too much I don't know but I've seen these from the factory like this as well is that the grease will work its way onto your worm gear cylinder which is where your clutch puts pressure in order to stop the movement. So what'll happen is, as I'll demonstrate, you'll get, it won't take much to move this RA, even with the clutch all the way tight. And you don't wanna over tighten these because you don't wanna end up damaging your worm gear cylinders. So I'm gonna show you a simple and easy trick to clean out the grease from here and improve the functionality of these without removing the entire without disassembling the entire mount the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the clutch levers and you just need a phillips screwdriver now i'm not going to do the declination in today's video it is exactly the same as the right ascension and i'm not having any issues with the right ascension at the moment so i'm not going to i'm sorry with the declination at the moment so i'm not going to bother with that but the ra is causing me some issues and i do need to fix that so after removing the clutch lever the next thing we're going to do is just loosen up the clutch plate and you want to make sure that your mount's either balanced or that you have nothing on it at all um, in my case I do have the pier and I'm not too worried about it. You would do this on your tripod or your pier if you had it. We're just gonna loosen that up and take this out. And we're gonna inspect it for grease. So you'll see that this is the, this is pretty coated in grease. Now I did this on purpose up close to the top of the head to keep this turning easily. But as you can see, there's grease down by where the button's going to be. And the button's still in there. We need to get that out. So we're going to set this down for a moment. Uh, I took this little screwdriver here and I just pushed on one side of the button to flip it on its side. And then I'm going to take some needle nose pliers and remove it. And it shouldn't have any grease on it. And I believe it does have just a little bit. And that's probably enough to cause our issue. So we're just gonna take a little bit of degreaser and we're going to wash off the grease from the button. And then we're also going to wash off the grease from the bolt that we took out. Now I'm not gonna take off all the grease. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave some of it up towards the bolt head so that it doesn't get stuck. What happens is, is in the cold weather, um, you'll tighten these up and then when it warms up, they'll get stuck on you and you don't want that happening either. Okay, so the button and the bolt head are clean. The next thing you're gonna do is take three Q-tips or cotton swabs, whatever you wanna call them, and we're gonna bunch them together and we're gonna put a little bit of degreaser on them or what I really prefer to use is some isopropyl alcohol. However, I don't have any at the moment and I wanted to get this done today so that I can not have any issues tonight while I'm imaging because it's supposed to be clear tonight. So you'll take these three Q-tips and we're gonna put them in all the way and you'll, we're actually touching the worm gear cylinder at the moment if you take them out, you can see they're already a little bit, of, there's a little bit of grease on there. And then we're going to move, we're going to move our RA all the way around. Now I still got the counterweights on here because I was too lazy to take them off. But as 
as you can see, this is the grease. You want to go all the way around 100 degrees. Uh, I just didn't want to get in the light of the camera. Let me do this again. And that's really all you're doing is just running this all the way around while you're put, applying pressure to the Q-tips. And you can see the, the grease that we've taken off of here. So now with the dry side of the Q-tips, I'm gonna put this back in and make sure there's no degreaser or anything like that left. And we're gonna go around 180 de or 360 degrees again. So that's pretty much it. The next thing you're gonna do is put the, bat the, the button and the bolt back on. The easiest way I found to do this is to use some needle nose pliers to set the button back in place. And then take a little screwdriver again and just do the opposite of what you did to get it out and then push it flat in there. We'll take our bolt, we'll put it back in. And then we'll put our, our lever back on and the lever has lots of teeth as you can see so you could put this in just about any orientation you want i usually try and keep it uh, parallel with the ra axis put the lever back in as you can see we are free and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up and I don't have to tighten it up very much. When we started this video, I had this lever almost all the way up here and now I just have it right here and now we're not moving. The only movement is the little bit of slop that I have in the RA axis and it is solid. I can't move that and I haven't put a lot of pressure on this. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If so, please drop it a like so that more people could check it out and see it. And if you want to see more of the inner workings of the EQ6R Pro and how I rebuilt and hypertuned mine, just check out this video right here.